Now, if you ask me, I think Ram is currently the brand that is making the coolest looking trucks. And of course, at the top of the range being the TRX, 707 horsepower compared to the Raptor, I definitely think this is the better looking truck. And I've made a video on it comparing the designs of the, the front design, specifically of the F-150 and the Ram. So if I were to build the TRX here, I would definitely go with the carbon fiber package that we have right here. That's 1300 extra right there. And this somehow automatically adds the level two equipment group right there, which is an $8,000 extra. And for the color, I would choose this beautiful charcoal. I'm just a fan of charcoal in general. I think it looks good on pretty much any car. I don't need the beadlock wheels because I'm not going to go super off-roading with this if I were to buy this. So this would be my spec right here. Let's see if we can expand it right here. Beautiful looking thing. So now, what if we turned this into a wagon? What would that look like? What if we brought back a sort of Magnum style version of a Ram TRX? It's the weirdest combination, but that's what we do here in the channel. We do crazy stuff. So we take trucks, we turn them into sedans, we take minivans, turn them into sports cars. And now in this video, we're going to take the TRX and turn it into a wagon. So we're going to jump straight into Photoshop and get started right now. All right, so we are back in Photoshop. If you're wondering what software I'm using for this crazy redesign right here, it's always going to be Photoshop. I don't use anything else in this. And now we're going to turn or at least try to turn this TRX truck into a ridiculous wagon. So it kind of makes sense to me because Dodge is... You know, they do have the, the Charger wide body with 707 horsepower, the Hellcat Red Eye, whatever they're called these days. So I think they should have a wagon as well. Then it just goes back to the Magnum. So why not bring this back and turn this into a wagon? A 707 horsepower wagon just makes sense. The cool thing about the uh, TRX, uh, the Ram TRX here is that it actually came out as a concept in 2016 just to kind of gauge the reaction of the audience and if the ram was like trying to see if they can put this out the concept and see what people think and i, I don't know exactly what they expected but if they put out a ram trx like the concept that they put out of course people are going to want them to build it even though the concept had a measly 575 horsepower and <laughs> the production version they of course bumped it up to 707 when they decided to go ahead and let's build this thing. But for the design of the Ram trucks, I really love the Ram designs right now. I even love the big horns. They look good, but you gotta have the LED front faces on these new trucks. If you don't option for the LED front face, it, it looks like something is missing and it just makes the truck look 10 years older than what it needs to be. So if you're getting a Ram truck, make sure you get the signature lighting in the front and that means that you need to add the LED headlights. And I, the, my, my personal favorite is the Rebel version. It has the grill, the, I think it's the same grill as this TRX, but of course it's a Rebel model, so it's not as powerful, and it's not as beefy, but the style of the Rebel reminds me a lot of the TRX and I think you can make a Rebel look and feel like a TRX for like half the money that you pay for a TRX. And that would probably be the one I would choose if I was getting any sort of truck. I wouldn't go for F-150s because I think, as I said, the Ram 1500 looks a lot better than an F-150. But anyway, I'm gonna let this video roll now and then come back at the end of this redesign and let you know what challenges occurred during this redesign, which you're obviously going to look, you're going to see what challenges uh, popped up because you're going to see that's where the video kind of slows down and I spend more time on those on those segments of the car. I mean, it, it is a challenge turning a truck into a wagon. There is a lot that needs to happen to the body of the car. You can't just copy paste stuff and just hope for the best. You got to fix everything and make all the parts look like they are connected and that they belong on the same car. You don't want to have the front look like it's a completely different car from what the middle section is and then you have another third car in the rear. Everything needs to flow well and also you need to I need to figure out how to make the uh, the rear fender since the front fender is so beefy I need to design something in the rear fender that need that looks beefy as well in in a ram way I guess. So that's going to be interesting to see how that is going to turn out. Anyway, enjoy, I'll be back in just a minute.
Well, 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 we turned the the T-Rex into a wagon and honestly, I think it turned out super cool. What, what's, what needs to happen when you do major changes or surgeries like this on a car is you, you definitely need to get the proportions right. I see so many uh, redesigns on Instagram and so on where they just like slap a a new face onto a car that has nothing to do with the or where the face originally came from that makes the face sometimes look too big or the body looks too weird in this case the biggest issue i had was how do we how do i make the greenhouse look like a wagon instead of a truck greenhouse because the truck greenhouse sits a little bit further the a pillar sits a little bit closer to the rear the front axle than, than it does if you have a wagon or a sedan design like this is. So that was the tricky part. And I think you could tell looking at the redesign where I had the issues because that's the places where I go back and forth trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with this design. Anyway, a lot of fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button because that means a lot to me. But who cares about what I care, what I care about? It means a lot to the YouTube algorithm and that is all that matters and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i hope to see you in the next one take care